Guess who's super behind? Me. Uh, I'm not even going to say what day I'm technically on at this point because I'm not 100% sure because I just kind of got lazy. Uh, which does tend to happen to me when I do uh, uh, these kind of long monthly creative challenges. I do like doing them, um, but they sometimes, since it's a full month and I have other things to do on top of this, this the creative things tend to be pushed to the back and be the, the not most important thing I need to do in the day. Like... If I have a lot of chores to do, like laundry, cooking, getting stuff, general cleaning, homework, those things take precedent over um, personal projects. Because that's life. Oh. And I'm going to be playing a little bit of catch up. <laughs> Just record a bunch of videos in a row. <laughs> to get back on track so I can at least have my 31 videos for January. That's not technically the way I wanted to do it, but this is my channel and I can do what I want. So I guess um, I'm going to make this video on being, I guess, consistent, which I am not. Or I guess more uh, about when you uh, give your when you give yourself a challenge, it's okay to not come through on it 100%. As long as you're putting your best effort in and um, more or less doing what you set out to do, even if you don't quite get there, I think that's still kind of okay, um, cause just, uh, cause you still made something, um, so a lot of artists and stuff will do, uh, like, things like Inktober and, um, Mermay, where it's like a different prompted drawing every single day, and that's a really hard thing to keep up with because it's an additional thing on top of everything you're doing and yes it's fun yes it's uh, it can be very fulfilling and um, well it's a challenge so it um, gets you to do something new but even if you don't do it every single day or you fall behind or you don't make the entire month that's still okay. Even if you just ended up doing one drawing, that's still something. And I feel like when you're doing these kinds of things, it, even though it is a self-imposed challenge, um, you really, you should really only compare yourself to yourself. Um, yes, take advice, take tips and criticisms from other people. But I don't think you should necessarily look at another person and say like, oh, they're doing so much better than me, why aren't I where they are? Because there's so many things that go into why another person is more successful or however you want to describe or, uh, or perceive it. And y <laughs> if you're constantly looking out, you won't be able to look at yourself and evaluate yourself and really understand where you're at um, and what what really is the uh, struggles or issues that you're having um, around making art or finishing projects or whatever committing to something my hair is a mess It's, it is very hard to not compare yourself to other people, and I totally understand that, because I do it constantly. I'm very good at giving advice, and not, I don't always take it. Um, it is difficult to not do that, and I think 
as much as people say don't compare yourself to others, you, to some degree, you kind of always will because we don't live in a vacuum. You know, you're not just an entity unto yourself. You interact with other people. You're always going to see um, things other people what other people have going on and if you're into the same thing you are going to make those comparisons um, I think the most important thing is to not take it personally to uh, don't beat yourself up because somebody else is here when you are here and that's with anything not just with these monthly challenge things but any hobby or project or schooling, anything uh, that you have to work at, don't look at the other person who's here and ask why you're here. Look back at your own self and say, four years ago you were here and now you're here. That's progress. It's It might not be as fast as other people, but you have progressed and you've accomplished something in your own way um, always always learn from other people but most importantly learn from yourself learn from your past mistakes and learn from your successes so this got weird and rambly and kind of pseudo inspiring I have several more videos to record and I'm not gonna change so you're just gonna see this gross ver pajamaed version of me hey okay. bye